I'm here in South Dakota for Freedom Fest. I love Freedom Fest. I've been coming to it for years, but I'm especially excited to come to this one. It's the first time we've done it in South Dakota. It's the first time I've been to Mount Rushmore, and we didn't have Freedom Fest last year, so we're especially grateful to be having it this year. I think Freedom Fest is incredible. You know, we have uh, well over a thousand people here from across the country celebrating what freedoms we do have and figuring out how we can work together to have even more freedom to, to, to move to as free and as prosperous society, society as we can possibly have. I'm so excited to be at Freedom Fest this year. It's actually my first time. It's wonderful getting to connect with so many other Liberty movers and shakers across this country. It's such an invigorating environment. It's so good to see Free the People, one of my very favorite groups, and loving to connect with all these people we haven't gotten to see in a long time due to the pandemic. This is a, a really good opportunity for people to come together again. This is an especially good Freedom Fest. I'm glad to be here um, with my friends who are carved up on this mountain some of whom I like a little more than others, but we don't need to get into that. I think it's fantastic, and I think it's appropriate that we're doing it in South Dakota, the one state that didn't have any lockdowns at all. I think that that's a, a statement in and of itself that we are saying, you know, here we are celebrating and, and trying to build freedom in a place that said, no, we're not going to tell people whether or not they're essential. I'm really enjoying uh, the exhibition hall, seeing all of the other uh, groups that are here. I love how the Freedom Fest marries uh, politics with also a lot of stuff about the economics, you know, money, finance. Uh, there are different uh, crypto panels that I'll be going to and, you know, different investment uh, investment companies that are here. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. I've, I've been really shocked. The, the lines just to, you know, sign in, just to check in yesterday were out of control. What I really like about this is this is not just a strictly libertarian event. There are conservatives here, there are constitutionalists here, there are people that are trying to figure out exactly what they are here, and it's important that we're all coming together to talk about freedom, what freedom is, you know, freedom without labels, and I think that that's fantastic. I think this is the kind of um, community and outreach we need to be building to be able to have the, the free society and, a, and an America set free that we all want. Uh, the people I've talked to have been great. It's awesome coming to an event like this where you get to speak with people uh, openly, candidly about politics without receiving, uh, you know, any sort of negative uh, reactions. The biggest challenge, to be honest with you, is there's so much stuff going on and there's so much talent. J.P. Sears is here, Dave Smith, Spike Cohen tore it up the other night. I think to help free people, you don't need them to be brainwashed with your thinking. That's just a different kind of slavery. You just need to get them in touch with their own nature because their own nature is free. So I just became pro-freedom. And beyond just the speeches from the stage, there's an amazing number of, a, of really talented filmmakers that have gathered at the Anthem Film Festival. There's a lot of amazing stories about liberty not just about what government does to people to crush their spirits, but the beautiful things that happen when free, people are free to cooperate and lift each other up. But that's really what Freedom Fest is about in the first place. It's a community. We've all come together. We sort of feed off of each other, and, and it just feels good for a change. As a film festival judge, the quality of the films that I've seen over the past four years has been rapidly increasing. Just one cool part, is this really old movie theater, The Elks. And I think it's probably the oldest in the country, one of the oldest in the country. And we are getting to see all of our films on this big, beautiful screen um, with these plush velvet chairs, just like the old days, just like in the movies. It's like libertarian movies have made it. Freedom Fest with over 2,000 people, this year 2,600 people. Um, so that provided my audience and, and my filmmakers provided the content and I just put everything together. And over the years, it has grown in content. The quality of the content has improved. The quantity of the films that I get. Um, so I'm just really, really pleased with what we've done in 10 years. This year seems to be better somehow. A little bit more energy, more people, more diversity, lots of young people, lots of young libertarians uh, kind of coming together and doing something and trying to figure out how it is we're going to fix ourselves after this lockdown authoritarianism that has almost crushed the American spirit. Well, there's tons of spirit here, and you got to check it out next year, Freedom Fest.